Hello my friends, my name's LazyJet, welcome back to another Hornby model review. Now today I'm not actually going to be reviewing a steam engine model, instead I'm going to do something a bit different because I thought I've never really reviewed this type of engine before and I thought it would be I thought it'd be fun to you know get some other different types of locomotives out there to, to review so I thought I'll try this today. But the model we're going to have a look at today is this, it is a class 87 in a beautiful virgin livery. Ooh, very 80s, isn't it? Or 90s, depending when this thing was made. I'm not actually sure. There must be a year date on this when there was, this thing was built. Actually, no, it was in the 70s. June 1973, when the first um, class uh, 87 was made. That's interesting. I should read more information on the back of the box so I can actually be prepared of what I'm reviewing. Yeah, that's really cool. And the price I paid for this particular model was £120 second hand. I do buy a lot of second hand uh, models. I really think, should think about maybe buying first hand stuff, but I do like buying second hand stuff because it's, it's a gamble really. You don't know what you're gonna get. Could be really good, you could get a good bargain, or it could go really terrible. And in this video, we're not just gonna be reviewing the locomotive, but behind me, I have got, quite a lot of it actually, uh, rolling stock for the class 87 in a nice virgin livery. Ooh, I've got quite a, quite a few of uh, these coaches, so I thought uh, not only I'm gonna review the locomotive, but I'm gonna review the rolling stock as well, so that might, that might be a bit interesting. Hmm. But first things first, we want to see a nice close-up of the locomotive. So we're going to get into the reviewing and see what it's like. Ooh. But there's an extra thing. Ooh, a thing. Everyone likes a thing. Uh, yeah, sorry. There's a there's an extra thing uh, on this uh, particular locomotive. Well, this model, in fact. Uh, which I'm going to get into later on in the video. But first things first, let's get it out of the box. Get it out of its box. I wasn't meant to say. And see what it's like. Ooh, get to the reviewing. And also make sure you click that subscribe button because I am trying to get this channel up to 80,000 subscribers. So all you have to do is click the big red button, click subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thank you. So it starts off with the box. Um, I, I do like the uh, the picture on the front. Well, this model's got some amazing detail. Uh, I'll give you a quick close up of the Hornby code. If the camera will behave itself in focus, I might actually zoom in a bit so you guys can actually see better. So there's the Hornby code, R3656, uh, Virgin Class uh, 87, number 87019. Lovely, it's actually got a name. This, this particular locomotive has a name. That's, that's pretty nice, that's awesome. So I'm gonna do the best I can to unbox this thing and see what we've got. So I'm just gonna gently slide it out. And I, annoyingly, this camera keeps going out of focus. I really hate it when cameras get out of focus. So I'm gonna slide the box out like so. Put the front uh, casing over there. Slide it out. Oh, I think the manual just fell out. Let's put that back in its box. I need that in for future references. And oh, we're getting there. Oh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Oh, it looks amazing. Focus, stupid camera. I'm having a lot of camera problems today. Although, then again, I'm just having a lot of problems in general. But never mind. Slide that out. And open this little liddy bit. Ooh, it's getting exciting. Here we go. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's got a bit, it's quite heavy. Right, move that to one side, the, the packaging. There it is. Wow, look at that. It feels so nice in my hand because it just, like, it's so heavy because I haven't got like a, a tender that just keeps like flapping around all over the place, but like, this feels so weighty. It's very heavy. It's got some magnificent detail on the roof. I mean, look at look at that much detail. That's 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 pretty insane. And the fact that I bought this second hand, there's actually not many pieces missing. Actually, no, I don't see any pieces missing. It looks almost brand new, in fact. And it, it just, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see a good close up. And there it is. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I love the front. The front looks amazing. Show you guys the side, so you get a good close up. Oh, the detail is all there, isn't it? It, it just looks so good. And as I said, this thing's got so much weight. Look at the detail in the bogies and the suspension, the springs and stuff. That just looks so cool. I love that. You've got the little pentagraph. Oh, can't wait to see what that looks like and zoom out again. Lovely jubbly now. That, that is probably 
I, I have to say as well that, you know, even though this has got some amazing detail, this is actually probably one of the um, electric locomotives I've got because most of the stuff I have is basically steam engines. I think this is like the only model I have that has a pentagraph and is electronic because I don't have the class 390 pendolino anymore because it got broken. But this is just incredible. If, if the camera will stay in focus, that, that just, that is incredible of how much detail there is on this model. That is so good. So we're gonna pop it on the tracks and I'm gonna show you guys a very special feature of what this particular model has because even though I have fitted it with a DCC chip, so this is a digital engine, that's good. Uh, there's something really cool that I need to show you on this model. So let, let, let's do that, shall we? Now the features that um, I don't have, unfortunately, is sound. I don't actually have sound on this particular model, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind, because, you know, it's an electric train. They don't really make sounds. The only sound they make is basically when they're running on the rails. But the cool features that I want to show you, if I press zero and then function on my uh, digital controller, so let's do that, zero and then function, I have lights! It's got lights! Ah, oh, and the and, and it's a, it's got the red lights on. So we switch direction. Lights will turn off. And then it's got bright white lights! Hey! Right, the next thing we're gonna do, which is quite a tradition on this channel, is do our famous cruel test to see how well and how smooth uh, this particular locomotive runs. So we're gonna put it in reverse, or actually or forward, just depends which way you're looking at it, because you know it's got cab on each side really. I don't know what I'm saying. So um, let's give it just a tiny bit of power and let's see how smooth it runs. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can actually see it run quite smoothly. Well, you won't be able to see if it keeps coming out of focus. Uh, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit juddery. I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can actually see the loco. It's a bit, it's a little bit ju juddery. Well, as I said, I did, I did buy this second hand. Make it go the other way. And I also want to point out that this thing actually has cab lights, which is absolutely fantastic. I never actually really had a model that really had cab lights before, apart from the. The Backman Class 450. And I love it when I switch direction, the light switch off from red, and then they turn back onto white, which so it shows which way it's actually going in, in the right direction. So that is really cool, which is another reason why I love digital models on the railway, which is so cool. And make it go the other way. Not so bad now, is it? I think it just needed running in a little bit because I haven't actually run this in a, in a while. So I think like it just needs a, a little warm up, that's all. But it does look nice, doesn't it? So I zoom in and then change direction. So the lights go from red, they turn off, and they go on to white. And then the cab light turns on, which I think is really, really cool. It's a beautiful model, isn't it? Although the only thing I don't like is you actually look in the window, you can actually see the chip, the digital chip in the window. And you can see the wires as well, which is something I'm not too happy about, but like, you know, never mind. Um, you gotta work with what you've got, because you know, although even though the wire is a little bit on, well, it's very obvious to see, but like, it is very hard to fit a digital chip in a model like this. So I think I'll have to live with that. But apart from the wire on show, uh, I think the whole model is, is, is absolutely beautiful. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox all the coaches and see what it looks like with some rolling stock. Ooh, that's going to look so nice. Okay, uh, let's do that and see what that looks like. Ooh, it's so exciting! Right, I've unboxed the coaches, placed them on the tracks, and um, I have two first class, one buffet, 
and three second class coaches because it is, I have to do it in a particular order. I can't just bung coaches where they need to be because on the side of the first class coaches, there's a number one and on one side of the buffet card there's number one, but on the other side there's no number, which means it goes from first class to the buffet to second class. I think, I think that's how it works anyway. Um, so what I've done, again, uh, three uh, second class coaches, one buffet, and two first class coaches. Now, I also bought these coaches specifically for the class 87 because there's no way I was gonna run a steam engine hauling some virgin coaches. So, basically, uh, I just thought it'd be a good idea to get the same sort of livery coaches for the uh, class uh, 87. Oh, but it does look good, especially with the lights as well. You've got the cab light, the front light. Oh, oh something's at the door. Guys, I am sorry, but I mean, I keep saying this, but this is another reason why I like uh, lights in digital trains, well, digital model railways, because if I put the uh, the locomotive in reverse, the lights turn off by themselves, and then they activate the rear light, and I'll do the same. So I'll push uh, the forwards button, lights turns off, and they activate all by themselves. Ooh. So I guess uh, we better get this train moving. And I'm gonna do what I normally do best, is get some epic shots of this train on the move. So we can make it go forwards a little bit. And away it goes. It's such a smooth starter. Give ourselves a lot more power, because this is a bit slow. This is a, a high speed tr uh, express train. There we go. If it says a little bit more speed, that's more like it. Ooh. <laughs> Gonna go over here. Let's have a look at this beauty. Oh, the lights look so cool. Don't the lights look magnificent? And the coaches look brilliant as well. I'm really glad I bought these.
Well, my friends, I've ran this thing in for about half an hour and it just gets better and better. I'm so glad I've reviewed something that's not actually Steam for ones. I've actually reviewed something that's different and I like different and this is like, it, the detail is there. The, uh, the, the, the lights are there. I love the lights. Doesn't have sound, but like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just have to live with that. But I just love how smooth it runs. It's, it's, I, I really recommend getting a class uh, 87, especially a one in this particular livery, because it just looks so nice. The pentagraph looks good. I love the detail on the roof. It, it's, it's just incredible. It looks like it's got a nuclear power station on the roof, but I, I just love it. It's, it's just so cool. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, follow me on all my social media stuff, you know, like Instagram and Twitter and all, all that nonsense. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>